Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do DNA pairing. Um, the DNA strand is missing the pairing element. Take each character, get its pair, and return the result as a two-dimensional array. So we've got the base pairs are AT and CG. Uh, match the missing element to the provided character. Return the provided character as the first element in the first array. For example, for the input CGC, we want to return an array with array pairing on the inside of, with the string of G and the string of C. So GC, so it was GCG. Now what we want to do is GC, CG, GC. Um, this, the character and its pair are paired up in an array and all the arrays are grouped into one encapsulating array. Okay, this uh, seems pretty, pretty, all right, this is a fun one. Okay, so what we want to do is first off, let's say, um, Let's uh, set this to be result. This is just so we can see what's happening. And we console.log the result. <clears throat> and so now this, well, first off, what we see here is that this is, we want to return an array. So we might as well start by returning an array. Let's say initial, I'm gonna change this to initial. Um, <clears throat> return the pro provided initial character the DNA strand is missing take each character get its pair strand is missing initial strand okay so the initial strand is equal to well let's first off we can split it to make it a an array so at least we have an array um, and then what can we do with this array well what we want to do is go through and add its pair to each one right so we can go dot map and then we have um, uh, initial pair and we set that equal to here okay so we're running if we were to return initial pair pair right now we would just still have the same thing just the same split but we don't want to do that right we want to figure out <clears throat> um, What's going on? We want to add, we want to make return an, an individual array. So instead of initial pair, we could have our, um, we could set our, we could let our pair be equal to initial pair. And then just, I'm just going to put the word pow in here for now. Pow. And that'll give us initial pair. And then we want to return the pair. Okay, cool. So now we've got our data structured the right way, right? We're pat, we've got a one big array. And inside of it, we're passing in individual arrays with uh, the G, and um, it should be paired up. But instead of, of POW here, we want it to say C. So how can we convert this? Um, well, I would first, I'm, initially, I just want to take it out and do it in a separate function, right? <clears throat> so we could say function. Um, let's actually do it up here. So we can create a function and call it. Um, calculate pair and we'll pass in um, the initial uh, okay so what can we do here what we want to do is if um, initial is equal to a then we want to return um, C T else if the initial is equal to T, we want to return uh, A. And we want to do this two more times, right? Else if the initial is G, we want to return C. And if it's C, we want to return G. And now we have a helper function. So we can say calculate the pair and put this in here, calculate pair and pass in the initial pair. And it looks like we've got the results. I'll run the tests, that passes, awesome. Um, cool, so yeah, if I were to pass in this one, we would get the result of AT, TA, CG, GC, AT. Um, <clears throat> I think that it makes sense to have this function outside of the pair elements function because we could use it perhaps later in our program. This pair elements function should just pair the elements. We could have uh, calculate the pair. We could have our function of calculate pair outside of that function 
and it would still work, but then we would, this would be able to be utilized later in the program. Um, yeah, outside of that, I'm not really sure how else we could refactor this. Um, I remember when I started programming, it was tricky to, be cut, to do the map, um, but I still think that that's the best way, and I don't want to go back and rewrite it with a lower level function um, at this point. Um, so yeah, tests are all passing. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.